Hello, and welcome back to AJM Learn. Today, I'm going to show you a really easy and customizable one I use on almost every site. Um, let's pop into the site styles real quick. Something that drives me crazy is that Squarespace gives us two global text styles. I mean, we have, you know, the miscellaneous stuff, the buttons, but focusing here on headings and paragraphs. Okay, that's great. We can like set different fonts for these. And if you have read anything I've written, I mean, I've heard talked about, I'm a big fan of simplicity and I like to usually use just two fonts, but I do wish there could be some differentiation between those fonts. So I use a lot of for my H4s. I a lot of times like those to be bolder or maybe even thinner, um, uppercase, things like that. Cause I like to use them like this as this kind of like eyebrow text. So, you know, we don't have that option. We can choose our family, which is fine. I'm totally okay with them all being the same font, um, or font family, but I would love some differentiation in weight and text, uh, you know, uppercase, uh, like letter spacing, all of that. But unfortunately, all we can set different between the headings are the size. So as usual, let's fix it with CSS. Uh, let me get back to my area here. Okay. I have pasted in from the post. Um, I'll go ahead and start with kind of the basics so we can talk through it. So I'm just starting with the H4 here. So this is targeting the H4. You can see the H4 has already changed. Again, this is the one I use the most because I like to use it as like that eyebrow text that goes above a larger heading. Um, so in this situation, I have changed the font family to Oswald. I'll come back to this font weight. So if you wanted it to be bolder, um, you know, if, if it was a font that had varying weights, you can change that. Um, text for transformation, I'm making it uppercase. I just think that looks nice as that eyebrow text. And then you can change the letter spacing, you know, as needed. Um, any of this, of course, can be taken away or changed if you don't want it, um, especially even if you wanted the font family to stay the same, but just wanted the treatment to be different. Um, one thing I like to note on the font family, I have yet to crack this code. Only some fonts will pop up in here, like your actual Squarespace loaded fonts. So Oswald works. Um, I was just looking at some graduate random. I don't ever use this, but that one works. Um, and then there was one right at the very top of their options called Brie and Brie doesn't work. It comes in as Times New Roman. So I honestly don't know which fonts do and don't work. I haven't been able to crack that code. I thought it was all those ones at the top they have organized before the big bunch of fonts and, you know, in your Squarespace options, but it's not. So I'm still trying to crack that code, but if the font you want works, you could do it like this. Um, if it does not work, check the post. We've linked to our previous post where we've talked about uploading us, uh, your own font. So a lot of times we'll just download one from Google Fonts or another place that has free commercial use fonts um, and just upload it and place it in here. Basically, you can use the same piece of CSS. You'll just have a second piece to where you're actually uploading that font and setting a name for it and then matching the name here. So it's really, really simple. Um, but that's pretty much it. So we can do the same. So let me just like copy this over or we can just start writing it. Um, if we want to change, let's say our H2. So for an H2, I might change the, uh, let's say we want to change the weight. And this is my H2 down here. Let's see if this there we go. You have to obviously find a weight that this font has. Um, so let's say I want my H2, you know, I like my H1 a little thinner and then my H2 a little thicker or opposite. Maybe my H1 goes thicker and my H2 stays thinner. So you can just keep doing this with each of your, you know, each of your headings if you wanted to change them. Um, And so any of the stuff, you can put whatever you want in the CSS inside the brackets as usual. Um, you could even do the color. Of course, now Squarespace has made it way easier for us to change the color right on the page. Um, I mean, you can change in site styles, but you can also change it on the page. But if you were like, hey, you know what? I always, always, always want the color of this to be, I mean, it's not going to show up, but black. Um, or, you know, one of your brand colors. I have a turquoise that shows up really well on white backgrounds and on dark backgrounds. So if you knew for sure, I always want this to be this color, just go ahead and set it so you don't have to keep doing it. So that's also an option. Um, okay. Hope that helps you find some differentiation with your fonts. This is obviously hideous. So ignore that.